Uh, this forum and uh, the seventh uh, Alliance of Civilization uh, Global Forum uh, is coming at a right moment uh, where we need more than any time before for nations to come together, for people to come together and recommit themselves to the values and principles uh, of the mandate of the Alliance of Civilization. I was very encouraged with the youth forum today where young people came together as well uh, with, a, with a very interesting theme talking about constructing their own narrative for the future and constructing a narrative where young people are seen as the opportunity, not the liability, where young people are considered as peacemakers, not the troublemakers, where young people are considered as a driving force for change and for development, not a burden in their societies. They are constructing a narrative where they are saying we should come together, we should have a global solidarity, we should have a better way of communicating and building bridges between nations and individuals, not building walls and barriers. I think these are the narrative that was constructed today of young people. Together with this narrative, there was a deconstruction for, for uh, the false narratives and misconception about young people. I think what we are seeing today is a, a strong call from young people who are gathered from all walks of life, all corners of the world, to come to Baku and to, to send a very loud and a very clear message that what at stake today is the future of this generation of young people, is their livelihood, is their ability to live in a peaceful society and nobody should gamble with the future of young people. So today we are meeting to recommit to these values and I think tomorrow as we start the main forum, the messages and the narrative that was developed during the youth forum should be heard loud and clear and the call of young people should be heard well in the forum and should not be a missed call. Uh, youth, young people gather from the different part of the world uh, starting this forum and they bring some special, I think, youth uh, excitement and a youth attitude to what will going on next two days. And we believe that some br brilliant ideas which are going on now, uh, which, which, which was delivered by the young people during today from the very early beginning, will be the part and will be included to the declaration of the, uh, of the global forum which will be after day after tomorrow. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, this process started uh, in Istanbul. It was the first time when the youth gathering for this forum. Uh, Azerbaijan is a place where we have a lot of global such kind of events. Uh, I remember just a year ago we hosted in Azerbaijan the first uh, youth forum uh, for the youth leaders gathering in Baku together. And that's a very, uh, let's say, brilliant and very good idea for the all the future forums. It's a mutually influencing process. It represents an opportunity for everyone. It's a task for us all. An inclusive society. Uh, I think the forum is uh, one of the premium, if not the, the most important uh, event worldwide uh, for people like, uh, like me, like my organization that work in this field, to come together as a community to exchange ideas, best practices, to learn from each other and also to forge uh, partnerships and collaborations. So I think that if each of us live here, live this forum with uh, some new people, some new ideas that we've met, uh, some new collaborations, that will be an excellent outcome of this forum. Harmonious and intercultural societies. Well, I think that uh, it is a very needed topic nowadays because uh, you can see that in many countries the societies are actually d excluding uh, some people or some stratas of uh, the uh, community and it is very challenging to tackle this issue and I think that talking about it like on the high level could bring some kind of a pressure on these people who are working uh, daily with uh, the issues are, which are concerned inclusiveness uh, to take more action but at the same time I think um, inviting people from the grassroots uh, like activists and NGO workers is also useful to kind of for the inflow of ideas how uh, we can you know how we can make our lives uh, together better.